Hi. In today's video, we want to talk about inserting rows and columns. So, in order to do that, one thing is very important to remember. Uh, if I have, for example, two columns with different formatting, okay, so I have here with blue background and here with another uh, background. If I insert one column, the formatting will be copied to the right. Anytime I, I insert one, uh, I want to insert one column after this, the new column will have this format. If I insert from here a column before, the formatting will be copied from the left. So any anyway I do that from here or from here, the, the formatting will be copied from the left. In the case of rows, the formatting will be copied from the top. So let's see an example. I want to insert another column between these two columns. So I go to insert, column after, so it's very easy. Uh, right click here and insert column after. So the new um, column is formatted as the previous one. So you can see uh, here it's bold and the same background and so on. If I remove that and if I insert from here and I insert a column before, so the same thing to be here, I told you that is the same thing because this uh, column is taking the formatting from the left. So if I want this formatting to go in a new um, column, will be will go in the column after or if I want before I can clone the formatting okay I have this tool here clone formatting and I click here oh sorry again I choose a table clone and click here and now if I'm writing the same I have the formatting from here so this is how I, I copy the formatting from the right to the left. But anytime I insert a column from with after or with before, the formatting will be from the left. So the left is blue, this will be blue and also this will be a blue because it was taken from the left. As you have seen, you can insert one column before or after but what is happening if i want to insert 10 columns 100 columns it's very easy let's remove uh, these columns so i have this table and you can see i miss the number uh, one until uh, 10 so i need 10 uh, rows but here between number and uh, 11. So I go here and I select how many columns or rows I need. I need 10 rows. So I click here, I press uh, left click and I drag down until I have 10 rows. Here I can see how many rows I have selected. Now I have 10 and I can tell to insert rows above, above my selection. So now I have 10 um, rows before. So I can tell to go from here, minus one. Uh, this is formatted as, uh, because I, as I told you, this is formatted as um, text and this because uh, take they have taken the formatting from above all these cells are formatted uh, formatted as text so what should i do i should clone the formatting from here clone and i cloning 
everything up to be the same formatting. Okay, now I can insert a formula, this one, minus one, and I can go up here and I have all the numbers until one. If I want 100 numbers to insert here, I go here, press down until I have 100 rows, let's see. Let's see here, we have 100 rows and click insert rows above. So above this number one, I have 100 lines, rows. Okay, the same thing is here. I can click here. If I want to insert something between D and E, I go from here to the right until I have, I don't know, wait, I have 60, 56 columns. Let's insert before. And if you can see the background now. Okay, so I have uh, from number to the right, I have 56 uh, columns until we have the column with letters. So it's very easy to insert more columns very, very quick. Okay, I hope this was very useful. Another way to insert um, a column or um, a row, for example, I want a row to insert from another from menu. I go here, sheet, insert rows above or below, insert columns before, okay, if I select column, insert column before or after, okay? It's the same thing, but it's much easier from contextual menu. So just right click and you have that option here. Now we are finished with this tutorial. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.